there, Sophia here. Today's Tuesday tips are all about contouring your face. I will show you how I contour my face using this cream stick. I love this, it's by NYX. It's called the Wonder Stick. One side is a highlighter, the other side is contour cream. And I will also show you how when I want it to last all day, I start with contour cream and then I add these colors from this set. This is the Smashbox palette. And you see it has highlighters, it has a bronzer, and it also has a contour shade. And I blend those two together, and then I add them once I have blended in my cream. Stay tuned, I will be right back, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so let's get started now. I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick. And what I love about this is it's cream, so it works very nicely for mature skin. After you put on your foundation or your BB cream, and you've already done your under eye concealer, then you can just go in with this. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Some people like to draw a straight line in, some people like to curve it. The important thing is to find where your cheekbone is. And by doing that, I usually just do this. Some people go like that. But if you feel against it, you will feel the ridge of your cheekbone. So just press your finger up against it. That's where you're going to want to run the contour. And you're not going to want to go any further in than here. So I generally do it there. And you will see the technique that I use is more of a curve. I like to kind of curve around the cheekbone. So let's get started. This is how I do it. I take the dark side of this contour stick. What I love about this shade is this is the light shade, but what's so nice is it's a neutral brown. It's not orangey, it's not pink, it has, it's a very neutral color, so it blends in beautifully. So I'm going to take it, start right at the top of my ear, come down and kind of loop it around and end right there. So I'm going to do the same on this side. And that's it. Then I'm going to also take it and just with the sharp edge of it go down the sides of my nose very quickly just to give it a little bit of narrowing and then go into my forehead and do just a little bit. All that will be blended in. And now I'm going to go in with my brush. This is my favorite brush to use. It's the Paula Dorf. It has a pointy tip and it's very dense, so it's kind of stiff. If you don't have this, this type of brush will work just as well. Or I also happen to love the Tarte dual ended one, but I usually save this for my powder when I use the powder contouring. So going in with this brush, I start to press it in. I'm doing little brushing motions but I'm pushing it into my skin and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. It looks pretty intense now, but when it's blended in, you'll see it, you will not be seeing a clear line of darkness there, just the shadowing. I'm going to go up in here and work it in here, only on the sides of my forehead because we want to keep the light down the front of the face. The sides are the ones that get um, chiseled in because we want to bring up those cheekbones and also minimize um, you know a broad forehead on the sides. That draws more emphasis to your eyes and to your cheekbones. So the other trick that I do that I think works very nicely on a mature face is I take this. A lot of people like to shade just directly under their jawline to minimize that and kind of slim down underneath your jaw. But I like to do it right at the edge of my jaw because that actually gives you more of a heart-shaped face. So I'm going to very lightly draw in right there and then take my brush and blend it in and then bring it down. You see? There we go. Now I'm going to take the highlight end of this and go up just up in here. Put a few little strokes right there because I'm going to be highlighting my forehead and then bring it down midway. I don't want to bring it all the way to the end of my nose because that'll make my nose look longer. And then just a little bit here and maybe 
right up there in the cupid's bow. So now this calls for more precision. I'm going to take the pointy end of this first and blend in the sides of my nose. Bring it across the tip. That's done. Then I clean off the brush really well and then come back in and start working in this highlighter. And the same thing on the other side. Because it just, you want a subtle glow there. You don't want to see the demarcation between the very pale highlight and the darker contour cream beneath it. Just blend this in and then just bring it right there before the tip. Actually, it works better with the finger. So you don't want to smear the lipstick. And it should be done before you apply your lipstick. And I'm going to go down just to the tip of my chin and give it a little. Now I'm going to blend in again. There. So you could just stop here if you wanted and uh, just add blush at this point. And I am going to do that. But then I'm going to go back in with the powder and show you how I do it with powder. So I'm using Tiger Lily today. This is a beautiful kind of orangey gold shade that I love. It's by Becca Luminous Blush. And I'll just add it to the apples of my cheeks just from here and bring it up. I'm using my Real Tex Techniques brush. So you see just that little pop of color lifts the cheekbone up. And I'm going to do it on the other side. Just a little tiny bit goes a long way. And now I'm actually finished with the cream blush or with the cream contour look and a little bit of powdered blush on top. If I were to just finish this look and not do anything else, I would take my brush. This is a MAC brush. I don't know the number and dip it into my uh, mineral powder and just do a very light dusting. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go in now with my powder contour and show you how I do it with powder. If you want a look that's going to last all day, let's say you've done this look, but the fact that it's cream, it could start to you know move around unless you set it very well or fade by the end of the day. So I like to go in with this Smashbox set. This is my contour palette that I bought that has all the colors in it. It's absolutely fantastic. It has shadows. I've shown this before in other videos, but I'm going to show you how I go over these two colors. This is actually a bronzer and this is the contour, but I like to go over them and then I'm going to go in and go on that contour area and just push it in. Then I'll go in on the other side. All of this will be blended, so it looks a little bit intense now, but I'll do the same on this side and go on this side. And then with what's left, come in here. And bring it under my jawline. I can add more, but you get the picture. Bring it, slide it down. And again, all this, all it does is help to define the shape of your face. It slims it down. It illuminates the cheekbones. And I'm going to go in now with this powder highlighter that they have, which is very lovely. I don't use the one that has the shimmer in it. I like to use the matte one, which is this. It's a bit yellowy shade, but I think it works really well. And I'm, and I'm using the small end of this Tarte brush. So just come up in here, very high up, and then put a little bit more on the other cheekbone, right up here, just to get a little bit of a glow. And then I'll be doing the same thing. I mean, really what I'm doing is repeating the steps that I did with the cream, but I'm now going to use the powder. Put the lighter color down the bridge of my nose. Again, put it up in here, a little bit here. Clean this off and then take the very edge of it and dip it into the contour shade only and then very lightly brush it over the sides of my nose because as you know, I already have the cream so I don't want to overdo it. You see it's pretty dark. And now I'm going to clean that off really well 
and then just blend it, blend it, and then take this side and go in here. And that's it for that. Go over this and now blend again. Go under here. And now the final touch is I'm going to go in with a tiny bit more blush. A little bit goes a long way here. We're talking evening look now, which you always have to intensify the blush a bit. So that's how far I would go. And now for the finishing touch, I would take my brush and dip it into my mineral powder and then just go over everything very lightly. Just pounce it in. Tap it in. Go in here. Let me just make sure everything's blended. It's all blended in and that's how easy it is to contour your face. A little bit goes a long way and you will see that you have a multi three-dimensional look to your face and it will draw emphasis to your eyes and your cheekbones. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now.